Oh my god. I am a mess. I am unwashed. I am sick. <laughs> I just blathered out the entire intro to this video and I never pressed the record button. That's that's a new one for me. Well done. Hi everybody, welcome back to my floor. If you couldn't tell by my appearance and the way that I sound, I have a head cold. And because of that, I don't want to do anything particularly high pressure. So no art challenges this week, no product reviews. I just want to do something very comfortable. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. For that reason, this is gonna be one heck of a low-key video. <laughs> Um, also, before we get started, I am just gonna give you all a heads up that next weekend I won't be doing an upload because I'm going out of town and I have too much prep work to do throughout the week and I'm sick. So there's just like too many variables sort of getting in the way of me uh, recording and then editing and then uploading an art video. Much to my chagrin, I wish I could be in all places at once, but alas, I cannot. I'm gonna stop talking because my throat hurts, but uh, let's do a painting. It's gonna be a, a very nice one. Hello, it is voiceover Serena. I am going to do this like this this week because it's just a little bit easier for me to edit out all of the sniffles and coughs that you may otherwise hear. <laughs> just sort of a creator's side note, I actually wonder sometimes if this is more of a format that I might be interested in sticking to as opposed to me kind of like live narrating what I'm doing while I'm doing it. I just find those kinds of videos a lot harder to edit and because I don't rely too much on YouTube for like a career option even though it would be nice to have that someday, um, I think I have the freedom to like experiment a little bit with different editing styles to my art videos. So you might see more of that in the future. I know that I do a lot of like voiceover narration on my paintings, but I feel like so often there's like a specific formula that I've had to my videos where I do like an intro and then there's like maybe some preliminary prep work or if it's the review of a product that I am trying out for the first time, I'll do swatches and I'll give a little bit of commentary and then you'll go straight into a speed paint and then I only have about like a minute <laughs> to actually do any kind of voiceover. So I thought that this format could be a little bit better. And also because some of those speed paints end up being so short because I'm condensing the time down to such a fast speed, it almost feels as if you can't actually see what I'm doing. and this painting just kind of materializes without you actually getting to see the process very well. So today's video is obviously going to be still a speed paint, but a slower speed paint so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. And that way I have a little bit more freedom to talk without feeling like I have to cram all of my narration into a very short window. Okay, I'm going to shut up about that now. So anyway, <laughs> the paintings that you're seeing today are a study of comfort and I just decided to source my reference images from within my phone based on some photographs that I had taken because the first thing that I thought when I thought of comfy and comfy things was my cat. She's so often comfy. She's quite a connoisseur actually. She likes soft places to sleep. I'll often find her like snuggled in all of my blankets like a little bird in a nest and it's just so adorable and she has this bed which you're seeing pictured here in the the image that I'm painting that's like a bed bowl and it's very soft and it's kind of flopsy too so she sometimes falls out of it but in this picture she just looks so dang cute with her chin resting over the edge like I don't know how you could look at this image and think anything other than that cat looks exquisitely comfortable. Pixel is also very talented at being comfortable in positions that I think look uncomfortable, but she can stay that way for hours and I mean, hey, if you're a cat and you're made of liquid, as all cats are, then any position could be very comfortable for you. And that's a power that I wish I had because I can't get comfortable. <laughs> that's a bit too revealing. <laughs> I sleep funny and I don't know why my body hates me for it. Ugh. Anyway, the other thing I thought of and I'm so glad I found the picture was my boyfriend is like a really comfy human. Like I like snuggling him. I like snuggling in general, but you know how someone just feels just right? That's a really nice feeling. So the painting on the right is going to be 
me snuggling my boyfriend. It's just a nice selfie that I had taken of the two of us while we were snuggling in his bed when I went to go visit him a few months back. And it's a picture that makes me quite happy, but it was also like a poorly lit picture (laughs) and a little bit like, you know, it wasn't super sharp on my phone. And honestly, whenever I'm choosing things to paint, those are often like the best reference images because I can sort of tighten them up and make them look a little bit better. That is a really cool, like superpower that you have as an artist sometimes where if you have like a really bad reference picture and you have the imagination to jazz it up or sharpen it in some way, you can do so simply by using your art mediums and you could take like a potentially really crummy image and turn it into a really beautiful moment. And that's the kind of stuff that I really like about art. So these two little paintings on this page here were done in the Arteza gouache that I had purchased. And just a side note, because I've been experimenting with these paints quite a lot recently, that between these and the Hemi gouaches, I like the Hemi better. And the only reason for that is because this set of Arteza gouache has a lot of really wonderful colors in it. But I find that when you have to like mix or blend your colors from this set that you'll end up with like really muddy colors. And if you have a lot of brightness, um, that it will eventually get dulled out if you try to like blend too much, which is a shame uh, because that's a really big part of the way that I do a lot of my paintings, particularly portraits because skin is smooth and you kind of want to like give the impression of smoothness even if you have a few brush strokes around. So you just want to have like some decent gradients, but I do find that pretty difficult to execute with these Arteza paints because I think most of them are multiple pigments within each paint. So if your pigments don't tango together quite well, they'll end up like mixing into a very gray or a very muddy color and that's pretty disheartening. I think you could actually see it too in these paintings that I was having a a difficulty with like getting some more vibrant colors unless I use them straight out of the tube. I remember specifically the, um, the skin tones especially on my face in the portraits of me and my boyfriend. Those were pretty hard. Um, It's also due to the lighting in the room. I looked a bit sickly (laughs) only because of the green ambient light. And then I remember having some issues with getting good contrast in the image of Pixel because she's a gray cat in a tan and gray bed on a tan carpet with beige painted walls. (laughs) It was just too too much beige. (laughs) Too many very similar colors all right next to each other. So trying to get some good contrast and get my colors to to blend properly was kind of tough. Uh, I managed, but you know, it's just one of the drawbacks of this particular color set. I feel like I could have done a little bit better when I used uh, the Hemi gouaches or other kinds of gouaches. I also think that at some point I would like to dip into getting more professional grade gouaches. They're so expensive. I think that's the only reason why I haven't gone down that route yet is because the really coveted brands of gouache like Holbein and stuff are just far too much money (laughs) for me to justify using them. Um, Not that I wouldn't enjoy it, but I prefer to like be a little bit more comfortable with the medium before I go full tilt on getting the most expensive brand. So that's just kind of where my headspace is at right now. The best that I've done so far with the Arteza gouaches is actually when I'm using a very limited color palette. So I did that video a little while back. I'll put a link up into the card so that you could go watch it. It was a three color challenge that I used with the Arteza gouaches and that that drawing came out really pretty. I also did another painting, uh, oddly enough of my boyfriend, come to think of it, that had a limited color palette and I thought that that picture came out really well but I was only using like three or four colors. So that's just kind of the most success that I have gotten out of using this set of gouache paints uh, for really bright, vibrant, super saturated colors, I so much prefer the Hemi gouaches. And I've been trying to like bounce around between a lot of the different art mediums that I use in my art studio because it it gives me a lot of anxiety. I do this to myself basically because I love to be indulgent and I love to try new art supplies and try new things. 
but then I tend to favor one and I use the crap out of it and then all of the other art supplies that I have just kind of sit there. So I've been trying to like bounce around between different mediums and I've been trying to use each of those gouaches equally. So if I do one painting in the Arteza, then the next gouache painting that I do will be in the Hemi, and I'll just keep going until I use up all my stuff. So it was just kind of fun for me to do uh, paintings that were really basic. Like, I did try to like polish them up a little bit, but I mean, I wasn't doing anything super creative, I suppose. Like, this wasn't an art project where I wanted to use a whole lot of brain Brain power. <laughs> I was just very comfortable to sit there and to work directly from reference and just complete paintings of two things that were very special to me because they made me feel comfy and happy inside. So that is what I did. I really enjoy just having a me day and pleasing myself. And I hope you have enjoyed it too. Once again, you will not be seeing me next weekend. I will see you the week after for our next art adventure. And until then, ciao everyone. Bye bye. Hi babies. You guys want a snack? You want a snack? Yeah? You excited? How about you, Cookie? Here, you get one too.